Okay guys, so yesterday when I turned it on, apparently I hadn't got the firmware installed on the actual Arduino, which is why it didn't have anything on the screen, it just had power. So now I've just uploaded the uh, firmware to the 3D printer, so we're going to try and turn it on again. And apparently, if the motors start going in the wrong direction, I have to turn it off straight away. The trouble is, I don't know what the wrong direction is. Um, so I'm going to assume that if they don't all move in the same direction, I'm going to turn it off. And if they get too close to the top, I'll turn it off. And if they get too close to the bed, I'll turn it off. And if I don't move at all, then uh, I don't know if it's good or bad. But uh, we shall see anyway. Wish me luck. We're going to turn it on now. Okay, but it's not moved. Nothing's moved. But we do have readings on the LCD now, which is good. So we've got, um, I'm guessing that's the heat bed, 21 degrees. I don't know for certain. Don't know if that's a target temperature or the actual temperature. Well, that's just moved. So I'm guessing that's the actual temperature. So I'm guessing that's a temperature of the hot end, which is this bit here. Um, and I'm guessing that's the target temperature, which is zero. So. Uh, it's obviously not got any target temperatures yet. And this is, I'm guessing, the heat bed, which is temperature probe in there. And that's currently at 21. I mean, they're both about the same, which is probably right, because not, they're not turned on. The heat bed and the uh, hot end aren't actually turned on. So that's just reading their normal resting temperature. Uh, X, Y, and Z are supposedly at zero, although they're definitely not. At zero because I think zero is bottom maybe I'm not sure nah, maybe zero is at the top I don't know anyway I will have a play and see what happens I'll be back soon okay guys so basically I'm back and uh, had a slight issue with this switch because it broke annoyingly um, I was turning it on and off and it wasn't turning it off it was just staying on all the time so I've gone out and bought this switch and this one is working now, so that's good. Solved that problem. Um, I haven't actually got around to moving anything yet. I've been holding that off. But what I have done is checked all my end stops. Uh, these things here are triggering correctly, and they weren't. Because in here you can send a code in here, which is M119. It's not focusing. Basically, you do that, and it tells you that all of the um, yeah, it's not going to focus. Yeah, there we go. They're all open. There we go. And then by holding each one of these down and running that command again, you can check that all the switches work as I should do, and they weren't. They were. This was the wrong one. It was saying that Y was open. All the, uh, sorry, Y was triggered, which is one at the back there when it wasn't, and it was a complete nightmare. So I didn't want to move anything because obviously, if the end stops weren't set up properly, then it wasn't going to stop the motor from driving the um, the uh, carriage all the way through. Turns out there's a slight issue with their wiring diagram where they miss out four header pins. So. Uh, had to move all my wiring slightly and now they all trigger correctly so now we're ready hopefully to send the hot head to its home position at the top so here we go let's go into the menu and uh, I don't know where it is because I've not done this yet is it under prepare or control I'm guessing uh, temperature no motion yeah might be motion uh, no, we don't want any of that stuff. Don't know what any of that stuff is. No, we don't want any of that. Okay, so it's not under there. Let's go back. Back up. Uh, back up. Let's go to prepare. Uh, auto home. There we go. So hopefully, if I enable that, then all my uh, carriages should go to the top, hit the end stops, and hopefully stop and I'll be ready on the power switch in case something bad happens and the motor goes the wrong way. So here we go. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's timed out. Uh, I'll have to prepare. 
and no under prepare auto home here we go then ready go oh it's all moving please stop hey i think that's good yeah excellent first movement and it worked yay me okay so not content with just homing it we're now going to engage this uh, other probe for the calibration so this is now down so hopefully what should happen now is that the carriage should come down touch the bed and stop hopefully it won't keep going and drive it through the bread and break my glass which would be very bad so to do this we need to go back to the front of face which is what controls the printer and I need to just check what code I need to send because I don't even know what it is it's a G29 is the code to do that so in here let's put G29 and uh, hopefully here we go three two one send oh ready on the power switch it's quite scary it's moving places it's going slowly it's going very slowly oh yeah there we go look at that hey very impressive stuff this is very exciting isn't it I'm not sure how many times it's going to do this, but we'll just keep watching it for a minute. I think what it's doing is it's measuring the bed for how level it is. So it's taking lots of different readings. It's done. Excellent. Okay, so that's that. So I guess the next thing to do... Uh, well, I don't know what the next thing to do is, but I'm guessing I need to calibrate the bottom point so that I get the bit of paper there's a thing you do with a bit of paper where you slide it under the head and see if it's uh, close enough so I'll read the next section and see where we go from there okay so I'm going through my calibration instructions now which is the next thing you have to do which is the paper test thing and it's very time consuming I've done it quite a few times already you have to keep playing with a figure the Z figure um, and it tells you to start at three and either work up or work down depending on whether it's too far away or too close uh, mine was quite a long way off when I first did it so I've had to do it loads of times to keep working my way down I'm currently at Z 0 0.75 this is my next test so I'm going to flip the probe up and then issue the next command which is G oh, I can't remember I have to keep checking every time uh, G1 Z0 so I'll we'll issue that command as a G1 Z0. We'll send that and now this probe will move very slowly towards the bed. Like very slowly. You can barely see it moving. This is why it's taking so long. Because every time you do this you have to go through it. And I must have done it about ooh, five or six times now trying to get it right. Um, hopefully I'm going to be a bit closer this time. But obviously you don't want to go too far because if you do go too far then it'll be too close to the bed and it'll crash so I'd rather do it 20 times and get it right than try and rush it and go overcompensate too much but uh, yeah it's very very slow you see it getting closer Let's see if I can get you any lower Obviously I'm trying to keep an eye on it as well because I want to kill the power if it does crash. It's getting pretty close. That's still too far off though. If I get my bit of paper there you can see there's quite a gap still. There's no friction on it whatsoever. So we'll go down to 0 0.5 I guess next and we'll see what that does. Um, but that might be too much so I might split the difference in a 0 0.75. 
anyway I'll uh, keep going with that and I'll be back when it's right right well you join me quite some time later I've been through many 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 iterations of this calibration of the height uh, started at three then ended up going a little bit too far so it was too tight and I've gone back the other way basically I'm trying one point well a negative 1.8 at the moment uh, negative 1.85 was a bit too tight and negative 1.75 was too loose so it's, uh, it's certainly quite fine adjustments we're making here and they make a big difference I'm hoping this one at, zero, at minus 1.8 will be just about right so there it's touched there so we've got a bit of paper and I can just feel it dragging I don't know if that's too loose maybe but it feels okay it's just very slightly touching the paper there when I do that I think we'll go with that for now and uh, see how we get on yeah okay excellent well that only took about an hour <laughs> but we got there right so this time I've decided to test the heat probe on heating it up so you can see the uh, the hot end is going to 185 degrees it's currently climbing to 104 108 and the heated bed is supposed to be going to 60 it's currently at 27 and uh, my little LEDs are on so that's good I think it's 28 degrees so yeah it's going up it's 30 degrees 140 so things are hotting up in here now let's hope things don't catch fire and um, we'll be good but uh, I don't know if I can feel it doesn't really feel hot well, I don't know, actually yeah it does feel a bit warm a little bit warm not much but it's only at 33 degrees so it's not that warm anyway we'll be radiating heat the uh, hot heads already there I'm not going to touch that if that's 100 and... actually, I don't know if that's degrees or centigrade uh, sorry Fahrenheit or centigrade um, but yeah it's still hot either way excellent I will uh, wait for the heat bed to get up to temperature and then see how it feels it takes a lot longer to get up to temperature but I guess it's a bigger area okay we have loaded in the PLA to the extruder it's now fed up I had to take the hot head apart to actually get the filament into it because there was a problem up here somewhere it wouldn't go through but I have now loaded it oh and there you go look it's just a bit started to squeeze out there um, I guess that's good I don't know but I'm going to press the extrude button and hopefully we'll get some more oh look at that well, that's a quite a lot but it is extruding plastic so that's good this is what we want Extruding quite a lot, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's if I try and grab that. It's really hot. Oh, no, there we go. Excellent. It's extruding plastic. The bed is calibrated. I think we need to go on to a test print next. Maybe I don't really know. There's probably more things to set up. But anyway, it's one step closer. Now then, I think we're ready for our first print. You know. The hot head is 185 degrees, the print bed is at 60 degrees, so everything's primed. Uh, I've loaded a cube, a calibration cube, into the pronto face thing. Uh, I'm guessing I just hit print, although I don't actually know, but that seems like the thing would be logical. Um, and then in theory, if I've done it right, it should home itself at the top. Then it should do its calibration thing and then I'll have to flick the calibration up manually because it doesn't do that itself. I have to flick the probe up once it's finished calibration and then it should start printing. So here goes nothing. Let's hit the print button. See what happens. Okay well it did go to its home. Um, I think something's wrong there. 
So we'll abort that. We'll be back shortly. Well, I don't know what I did wrong before, but I just disconnected everything, reloaded the code, and started the print again. And uh, it seems to be doing its calibration thing now. So let's see how we get on with the print now. I'm not sure what I've done before, but I've obviously done something wrong. As we can see, the uh, head and the um, print bed are both at the right temperature. Now it's nearly finished its calibration, so I'm going to have to flip the probe up when it finishes it. Like so. And hopefully it's going to start printing. Or not. Okay. We've still got something wrong here then. It's not extruding. And it's far too high on the print bed. But it thinks it's printing. But it's not. So back to the drawing board. More planning required.